Hello and welcome to Mal Makes. Today we're going to be painting the lover's tree from Tulip. This is the full version. If you're interested in the time lapse, you can click on the card here. Otherwise, let's get started. For this piece, I've gone ahead and drawn it in my sketchbook already. You can see I have the lover's tree here, one of the cranes from the opening scene, and then I have Mr. Suzuki down here. I've chosen to add Mr. Suzuki to the piece because I had drawn it without him and it felt very incomplete, like it needed something else. And he's one of my favorite characters because he kind of reminds me of a Mr. Saturn from Earthbound, so I've decided to add him in. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a watercolor pencil and then just transfer this image to my canvas. So I've drawn everything with my watercolor pencil, the next thing I need to do is paint my sky. So I have a slightly green blue here and then just a touch of white in it so it's slightly lighter. And then I'm going to go ahead and start by painting all of this over most of my sky. I also have some white on my palette and then once I have the blue down I'm going to go ahead and just kind of streak some of that white into it to give the impression of clouds. While the sky is drying, I'm going to go ahead and start to block in some colors. I have Burnt Sienna and Mars Black here, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in dark brown because there's this patch under the tree that's not grass, it's just kind of some dirt. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. The next thing to block in is the grass. So I just have a little bit of green with brown, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in this hill. I've let everything dry, so now it's time to go ahead and re-sketch some of this information back in because it's gotten lost by painting over it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that back in. The order of how I'm going to be painting things is I'm going to be painting this dirt here, then the tree trunk, and then the leaves, and then some of the details like the face, Mr. Suzuki, the crane, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the grass. So this is the next thing I have to do. And I've mixed up three different browns, so you can see kind of the lightest one here. And this is going to be the very lightest one I have for this. And it's burnt sienna, yellow, black, and white. The other ones are the same thing except there's less white and more black in them. So this is going to be my lightest one. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of fill this in first. And then grab the darker twos to bring in the shadows. The next thing I'm going to block in is the tree, and all I've done is I've taken all the extra brown that I had from the base here and just mixed it all together, and this is just going to be my blocking in color. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this all in. I've mixed up three browns for the tree trunk, and I'm just going to go ahead and start to kind of fill these in using a flat brush and just some long, long strokes to start to bring in this bark. Now I'm ignoring the face for now, I'm going to be putting that in later, but I want to make sure I have all of this done first. I'm just using some of this medium brown to start to bring in some of these edges of these branches and to bring in some depth to the tree. As you can see, I used my lightest color to kind of draw in the middle of all these bark pieces. And then I've gone back to my medium color, but I didn't wash off my brush, so it's gotten a little bit lighter because of that. And then I'm just kind of going back over those light pieces with my medium color, just so it's not so bright. And you can see I'm starting to get kind of these ripples of this bark in here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these up, and then I'm going to bring in a bit more value to it yet. Thank you. 
Now I'm just taking the black and for each one of these ridges I'm kind of doing like a horizontal ridge that kind of curves a little bit with the tree bark. And then I'm just kind of trying to round these edges in towards the tree. So I've decided I don't like these horizontal lines, so I'm just going to go ahead and go back over the entire tree to get rid of them. And it shouldn't take too much because I still have all my colors here, and it's not the entire thing, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. The next layer I'm going to be painting is the tree leaves. So I just have a dark green, so it's yellow, blue, and black. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of tap in where all these leaves are going to go. So I finished step one doing this blue green up here. For my next step, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, so in my sketchbook I tried a few things out. I laid that blue green down first, and you can see I kind of used a big brush over here, small brushes over here, and then I just tried a few different things. But my favorite thing is right up here. I liked how that turned out best, so that's what I'm going to go for. So step two is to take kind of a slightly greener green that's not as blue as this one, and then just to give a little bit of variation in these shadows, just using that same technique where I just kind of tap onto this other green. For step three, I have a small brush and I'm using my medium green. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in individual leaves. Now I'm kind of having them all rotate outwards like a fan, so they're all gonna kind of face downwards. For step four, I've mixed up this light green color and it's time to start adding some definition in. So I'm just going to take that and do this upside down heart shape and start to fill in the outsides of each of these leaves. For the fifth step, I'm just taking a super light green and then just adding it on the tips of some of these leaves. The last step for the tree is to mark in some of these tiny twigs. So they only show through in a few areas, and I'm just kind of making it up, and I'm using a grayish brown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of these guys in. So I realized I want to have some further back leaves, so I'm just going to throw a couple of them back in here. So I have a lot of green left over, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it up by putting it down here on the grass. I do plan to bring blades of grass down here later, but it's not time for that yet and I don't want this paint to go to waste. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this medium color I had and kind of fill everything and then I'll take some of the lighter colors and darker colors to bring some value to the grass. So it's all one color so it's time to start adding some value. So I have this dark green and I'm just going to kind of streak this in and then I'll just kind of blend it into the regular green I have there already. The next thing for me to do is start to mark in Lover Tree's face. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my chalk pastel pencil to start to fill this in. <laughs> 
for the skin, I have Burnt Sienna with white and yellow, and this is just going to be my main face part here. And you can see I had the face drawn in, but there's no point when I have to paint the whole thing a solid color anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this the skin tone I've made, and then I'm going to be using white and blue to bring in my shadows and highlights. So I'll fill this in, and then shade it. Around the face is more tree bark, except it goes in a circle this time. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in with a dark brown so I can see where it is. And then later I'll add more value to it. To bring in the value for that ring, I've just used the same colors I used for the rest of the tree. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start to kind of like streak them around the outside. The next thing I need to do is start marking in the face, um, but first I'm going to go ahead and split this in half, and then in half the other way, just so I can kind of tell where midpoint is. That'll help me lay things out a bit better. I'm going to be starting by painting the nose, and I have kind of this reddish orange color, and I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down first, and then I'll bring a little bit of value on it. And while I'm doing that, I was going to talk about why I've chosen to paint Chulip. And the first thing is a lot of people were asking for it. I had so many comments between the Facebook fan page and Twitter and comments on my videos that were like, you should paint Lover's Tree from Chulip. So here it is. But if you haven't seen Chulip, we do have an LP over on Steven's Let's Play channel, and it is a complete LP. It's a very different game where you go around and you have to kiss everyone. Um, it's very Japanese. It's kind of a wonder of how it even got translated and brought over to the US, but it's kind of a fun, unique game to play. And actually, I bought it shortly after it came out. Um, I had seen a review on it, and I was like, I don't know what this game is, but it looks interesting, so I bought it. And it was a lot of fun. It was just very different from anything else I had ever played. Once that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and bring in some more contours to the face. On the chin, it kind of sticks out so it gets a bit more of a highlight compared to everything else around it. So I'm just going to go ahead and block the chin back in with more of my skin tone. The next thing I'm going to draw in is Mr. Suzuki, and I'm going to have him kind of sit down here. And he kind of looks like a Mr. Saturn, which is why I think he's so cool. Maybe that was kind of the inspiration for his character. So I have him drawn in, and just like the face, I'm going to go ahead and paint him in first, and then I'll bring some value to him. For his nose, I mixed up a light pinkish orange color, and it's looking like it's going to need a second coat, so once I finish this coat up, I'll let it dry and then do it again. While those are drying, I'm just going to go ahead and start to mark in the paintbrush on top of his head. So I'm going to fill in these bristles white, and then the base kind of a gold color. Everything has its one coat, so it's time to start adding some detail. First, I'm going to get rid of this chalk with a damp paper towel, just so it doesn't throw me off any. Next, I'm going to start on the nose, so I'm just going to give it another quick coat of this pink color. And then I'm going to bring some value in using white and black.
The next thing I'm going to add detail to is the tip of the paintbrush here. So I'm just going to give it another coat of white on the bristles, and then I'm going to bring some value in just using white and black. For the next set of detail, I'm just going to give the body another coat of the skin tone, and then I'll bring in some value for that as well. For the shading, I'm just using a bit of a brown black, and then I'm just going to add that in. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing with the brush handle here. Just giving it another coat of my color and then more shading. While I'm waiting on Mr. Suzuki to dry, I'm going to grab some shading gray, which is just kind of a liquid see-through gray, but it lets me kind of add in some shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that up here by these leaves. The next thing I'm going to work on is the grass. Now, in Chulip, there's some grass blades all over the place. They're not everywhere, but they're kind of like in clumps. And you can see through them. They're not very tightly packed. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of bring in some here along my little horizon. Maybe bring some in these darker areas. Maybe bring some up on top of Mr. Suzuki's feet. Like that. And then probably bring some around my tree trunk here. After I finish with this same color that I had from before, I'm going to switch to a lighter color and a darker color just to kind of do the same thing to give them depth. Next I'm going to add my light green. And I'm just going to throw a couple of these guys in here. If you remember my sketch, I had planned to put a crane here, but now that I'm this far, I don't think it would look right. So it's time to sign my name. Do it in chalk pastel pencil first, and then I'm going to go over it with white and then green. And we're done! We have our lover's tree scene from Tulip. If you're interested in this piece, you could buy a print, or a poster, or bid on this original canvas. There's links down below. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon. You can find out more at supportmal.com. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes of Mal Makes, and I'll see you again here for another video game painting.